Hey everybody, this is Corey Salt and True Floyd for Ameribe Media, and this is the Geek Report. This week we have another DC live action movie announced, a video game movie from an unlikely place, and wrestlers and MMA fighters are getting downright disrespectful. All that and a new James Bond, maybe, this week on the Geek Report. Let's go. And we're back. Everybody, this is the Geek Report, powered by Mary Me Media. I'm Corey Salty True Floyd. And of course, first and foremost, I need to introduce my number two, my Captain Riker, my favorite little anarchist, Demon Engine. Hola, mi amigos. How are you doing today? And over here for our guest panel today, we have Dom Missy. Say hello, darling. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm a guest note today. We're going to have some discussions about all of this hearsay. She is a she is a Fay cosplayer, a gamer and streamer. <laughs> <laughs> As you folks know, every week uh, there's some news that's going on in and around our universe, and we're going to try and talk about it and have a good time. What before we get started, I want to thank you guys for checking out Mary Me Media here on YouTube. We hope you're subscribed. Make sure you hit that red icon. And then hit the like button because you know you're just going to love everything you see. Demon Engine, let's roll. Everything. All right. So I personally am a big Boondock Saints fanatic. Uh, this crazy little independent movie that came out in, what, 2000 and 2003, 2004 with Sean Patrick and Norman Reedus. It's just it's been a really awesome, fun time with these films. But they've also had their own issues when it comes to getting the funds together to do a third installment. So recently it was announced that they do have a have a third Boondock Saints on the bing, uh to return. But again, this is not the first or second time this has ever been announced. So I'm a little skeptic, but I'm always a little hopeful. Are you guys Boondock Saints fans? Oh yeah. <laughs> Have you seen a demon? Because I know you're not you're not big on movies, but if you get put, if you'll sit for something if someone suggests it, demon. I watched it a long time ago, but I don't remember it at all. I, I can tell you watched it a long time ago because if you actually remembered it, you would have definitely pointed out one crazy scene that I know, one particular scene. So that might be something we have to put on the watch list for you. <clears throat> Either way, I'd love for another one. Maybe the, see it's times like this. I need I need for Netflix to come in and be like, yeah, my homie, we got you. <laughs> because no one really needed a fourth Beverly Hills cop. But that's a conversation for another day. Let's go, Demon. So, the Never Ending Story, which ended somewhere between 1999 and 9/11. They never. Uh, <laughs> It's getting it, apparently it's getting a new series of live action movies. I'm not sure if it's going to be a reboot because I feel like rebooting the never ended story is, is some sort of uh, I don't know. I feel like that's a, some sort of weird anomaly, like Pinocchio, like it would break the matrix. So perhaps it's just new stories involved in the book, and maybe because we're now in in, in a technological time, we don't have to worry about the nightmare fuel, which is the large-ass puppet of that damn dragon. Falcor was amazing. Yes, he was amazing, but the but as a child, at least the first three times I've seen it, scared the absolute shit out of me. <laughs> and, yeah. then, and then there's that internet photo of someone who actually has a Falcor head in their garage that sh oh god, because mind you, Falcor is supposed to be a dragon, but this nigga just looks like a large dog. Yeah, um, he was actually narrated by the same. I'm sorry, he was uh voiced by the same uh person that did the narration and uh, a few other characters in there as well. So that's it, that's some good stuff. I don't know how they're gonna work all of this out. Like, I don't want the Artax situation all over again. Like, we don't need it. Um, <laughs> That's but, why I hope it's just new stories in the book, not a re, 
No, I don't think they should do a reboot of the series. Just have new stories involved. Yeah. Cause uh, I ain't go. Yo, that one that one kid that cosplays a tray you with a drowning Artax. No. <laughs> no. The set of stones on that guy. It because it's it because it's something that only really hurts anyone above. 30. Because D- Demon, do you remember Never Ending Story? It yeah, hurts. see, it's a faint memory for you. It's childhood memories for me. It hurts. Well, we know how I feel about going back to touch old IPs, but I guess this one can slide considering it's literally called The Never Ending Story. So, right. Fuck it, we <laughs> Oh, man. Let's go to the next one. Never Ending Story. So. There's a Sims movie in the works, and it's going to be from Margot Robbie's production company. And this wasn't on my video game adaptation card. <laughs> I mean, adaptation card. Let's say the director is also um, the same director from Last of Us. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> it already. <laughs> I wonder how many swimming pools with no ladders there are going to be. Honestly. Oh my god! I I, I would I love to it. see who plays Death. I don't want to feel about this, but yo, they got yo. I don't care if it's for one scene. They have to get that girl on TikTok that sings karaoke, but every other line is in Simlish. <laughs> oh, how this just wasn't all. I mean, I. In my brain, when they first announced the Minecraft movie, I was like, yeah, I could see that. Another Sonic movie? Yeah, I could see that. So, but The Sims? This has no... I mean, there's stories in it about the characters, but like, there's no guy or really. <laughs> right. So, hey, listen. Hopefully they have a strong team of writers. I look forward to seeing what they come up with. Let's go to the next. All right, so Justin Chatton, uh, who a lot of you might know from those first couple seasons of Shameless, but uh, a lot of us might know him from Dragon Ball Evolution. Uh, He's done a tribute as well as another deep, sincere apology for uh, for his movie with uh, Akira Toriyama's tribute. And I'm not mad at him because he was a young actor who needed that money. I get it. I'm mad at Fox for greenlighting it and allowing it to happen. And the only reason they greenlit it is so they could keep the movie rights for another seven years. Yeah, the studios have been problematic lately. Um, No, that he apology was so... Genuine, like he literally was like, it was, it, yeah, he was uh definitely taking accountability for all of that. Cash grab. So, I would say, uh, I don't know what's going to happen with any of that, uh, how the people are going to take it, but mm-hmm. I think it's uh dismissed. I'm not mad, I, I, I'm not, I can't, I can't be mad at the actors, I'm not even mad at James Marsters because. When he came, as soon as he saw the set, he was like, oh. He's like, well, check cleared, so let's just get through with this. Whew. And mind you, after we, we've already done a couple article uh, pieces here talking about how writers, uh, they'll have a completely fake script that they present actors just so they can sign up. So he's, he's look. You don't have to apologize no more, but we accept it all the same. Let's mm-hmm. go to the next one. You're cool, buddy. You're cool. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, of course, um, the Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey 2 is coming out, but they also announced a complete Pooniverse, which will consist of uh, Bambi, Pinocchio. Um, the next one in pre- the next one in pre-production right now is for Peter Pan. Neverland. Oh yeah, it's gonna be um, mind you, all these movies are just good old fashioned bad horror movies. 
like you're just supposed to watch them and have a good time. And that is and, and, and that's perfectly fine. I wanna talk about the characters. The characters that have been listed are Pooh, Tigger, Rabbit, Owl, Piglet, Pinocchio, Sleeping Beauty, Bambi, Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, and Mad Hatter. How did the Mad Hatter get in there? <laughs> because he's part of he's part of the it's all in the public domain. Mm -mm. <laughs> this ought to be interesting. That's all I'm gonna say. It's gonna be a bad old time, and I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy these movies. No cure. <laughs> Yo, Demon, did you see the first one? Yeah, I'm, I are they're just good bad movies. Why was he an absolute unit? Why were they all stupid? <laughs> Why she let the Piglet wail out in pain so you can muddle on. Oh my god. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Some more uh, of you could have got away if you weren't stupid. But why was Pooh an absolute unit? Oh, he's cuz, man. He, he, run, he, run, he run no hundred acre woods, cuz. <laughs> Don't say that. Let's go to the next one. Ugh. <laughs> Uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson, he's been offered the role of James Bond. For those of y'all who don't recall who this man is, <laughs> he was in the MCU Quicksilver. He also was Kick-Ass. Um, and he has a movie coming out this year that um, Craven the Hunter Let's under the Sony universe. Nice. Which looks like shit. But <laughs> <laughs> no, like his movie looks looks like it might be cool. The problem is the Spider Man list Spider Verse that Sony's doing is just weird. It's weird and it's bad. Mm. <laughs> Morbius was the worst. Madam Web. So yo, I didn't think it could be a worse movie than Morbius. Madam Web ate their Wheaties and was just like, hold my cake. When they go low, I go lower. It's I, but now they want to make him James Bond. I'm 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 not with it. Mm. Um, he, and they're looking for longevity too. Of course they are. Mm. So that's like you, twelve years. Daniel Craig would have been James Bond longer if the scripts weren't dog shit. <laughs> oh, no. Some of his movies were just fucking awful. Quantum of Solace was horrible because of their, it was made during a writer strike. Skyfall is only cool the very first time you watch it. After that, you realize this is a very dumbass movie. I just don't like a, such a young-looking James Bond. I, I see James Bond being in his late 30s, early 40s. Well, he is like 33. I'm going to keep it real. I would just wish we had a live-action Archer. That's what, that's what I want. And I, want, I, I, would, I would want Henry Cavill to be Sterling Archer. Either him or Chris Evans. <laughs> Like, I have a whole idea for just a live-action cast for that. Demon, what do you think about, about this James Bond business? I would rather see one more kick-ass movie, but no, we're going to make this movie. Whatever. Honestly. I never get what I want. James Bond's movie out there? Huh? Are James Bond's movie out there? Uh, it's, it, it's, it's a lot of them. It's more than 20. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Yeah, Sean Connery. I was like the first set. Yes. Oh, yes. The Connery. Everyone loves me as long as you don't ask me about the blacks or women's rights. Are you really ask? Are you really looking up how many James Bond movies there are? <laughs> He's demons really looking. Oh God. I'm gonna. Right, I'm gonna no guess. Way. How many? I don't care. That is that is my reaction to this. I just found out the number. I don't care. What is what's the number? I don't care about the James, there are almost as many James Bond movies as I am old. There are 27 in total. 
once you got past 15, 15 to 20, I was already empty. Just 27 movies until I don't care. It's just like with Batman. I don't give a fuck. Only Batman's <laughs> and Batman adjacent movies. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, all right. I just, ah, uh, he looks like James Bond Jr. Shut up. He looks like he looks like a James Bond had the same like, I don't know, Lance Bass from Terrorists. He looks like a James Bond had to infiltrate Nickelodeon and try and save the kids. Ah, uh, that's a low blow. Yeah. <laughs> He looked like he he slipped shit into martinis at yacht parties. He looks like he buys beer for Tom Holland if, when Tom Holland can't find his ID. He looks like that foreign kid in those high school high school movies that that all the girls want, but he's like completely oblivious or actually okay, has a well. girlfriend. <laughs> all right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done busting on him. Let's go to the next. I, <laughs> I could do this shit all day. <laughs> Speaking of fucking Batman, <laughs> uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, uh, he was asked about the potential to play uh, Batman, especially right now for the DCU. He says it would be an honor. Now, a couple weeks ago, we found out that Alan Richardson from Reacher wants to be Batman, and that man is built like a damn unit. Like he, like he's Frank. Yo, he's Frank Miller, Batman swole. I mean, Jake Gyllenhaal is pretty cool too since Roadhouse. So, I, no, no, see, I'm, a, I'm gonna show. No, I'm gonna send you a photo of Alan Reacher from the show, and then you, and then, because Jake Gyllenhaal is pretty a pretty built dude. This dude is a unit. <laughs> I don't know why looking at this picture. I'm suddenly reminded of that whole fucking thing. When they said Batman doesn't eat the cat, that popped up into my head. My first thought was, yeah, with lips like those, I understand one. Oh, wow. Okay. Um... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so yo, he did go ahead. Batman, like um, in 2005, to Christian Bale, and he was suited in Batman Begins, but he still didn't get the role. So, like. Uh. All- Mister was a part of the universe at one point, so like, I don't see why not. It all depends on what type of Batman James Gunn is gonna roll with. He's pretty dark. Like he he gets pretty dark. <laughs> yes, he does. But I think Superman. Uh, so it, it's gonna be interesting because I already know Superman's gonna be more of an uplifting movie. So we'll have to see how it goes. It's supposed to be a Batman and Robin movie, right? I have no idea. He's uh, not really. Brave and the Bold is a Batman and Robin film, so I don't. If it's if it's dark, I feel like he would definitely fit it. If it's light, I'm um, honestly not sure. Mm. Okay. Hey, the future will tell us. What's the next one, Damon? So there's going to be a new live action Popeye movie. <laughs> now, for those of y'all who don't know, the first Popeye movie was in like 1974. Starring a very young Robin Williams. Now, Robin Williams played the hell out of Popeye. But the rest of that movie was horrible. But Robin, yo, Robin Williams had that shit down. I'm not even sure. I don't think this is a smart move. Not enough people remember Popeye. <laughs> There's Demon, do you outside of the chicken, do you know who this is? I know who Popeye is. Hey, listen, I'm just asking. I was around my grandparents majority of my childhood, so I know who Popeye is. I just watch it all the time. I don't remember the movie with Robin, Robin Williams, but no Popeye. The, what about you? What about you, Missy? Um, I really don't remember the movie. I remember from when I was younger, and I just remember not really caring. Right. 
the last time I even seen anything remotely like Popeye, I was watching Drawn Together, and they had another version of Popeye who was a steroid drug addict and ended up dying because his large forearms were just tumors. Wow. Um, Drawn Together was a very fucked up adult cartoon. If, I thought they were trying to get me to eat my vegetables for the most part. So well, no, this no, that's what the real Popeye was about. In the in the adult cartoon Drawn Together, Popeye wasn't shit. And <laughs> and apparently olive oil was for the streets. Well, listen, I know it sounds crazy. Just look it up, watch it. If you're sensitive about anything, don't watch it. <laughs> it's like South Park, but they don't make a point mm. on purpose. Got it. Next one. A live action Teen Titans movie. Ugh. Uh, mm. I don't know. I don't want that. Y'all, y'all done did too much with the last did shit. Scene. Before, I think. Or something. Huh? I don't know how to treat my boy, my my man Beast Boy, right. And you know what the crazy thing is? Outside of the first season, Titans on on the Mac streaming app is actually a solid solid rendition of the Teen Titans. It's like it, they like they are they were closer to the comic book Teen Titans than the cartoon that everyone likes Teen Titans. Mm. But a lot of people, a lot of people ain't going to have that conversation. I already seen someone out here making a joke saying that um, when I first heard about this. They said make Zadia Starfire. I'm like, no, that's we're not doing that. <laughs> I was like, and they said make the make the rock cyborg. I was like, shut up. I was like, the rock, there's no way to make the rock look like he's in his teens. <laughs> sure, you can make him look like a cyborg, but you're not gonna convince me that he, that he is a budding adult. Now, Demon, you know who would be a good Robin? The mm-hmm. uh, number number five from the Umbrella Academy. Mm. Mm. Well, damn. The, bo- yeah, the board up. That, that falls into the bat family. You know what I'm oh, about. God. So they can't even be adjacent? <laughs> Oh. His daddy's a piece of shit, so there's a high chance he might end up like that motherfucker. That's how we got Damian Wayne. You see what happened there? <laughs> uh, I just started watching just the cartoon. Like, I just don't want my man Beast Boy to be whole. You don't want you don't want him getting all caught up with Raven. I don't want him. He keeps getting hold. Every iteration of Beast Boy keeps getting hold. First one got hold. Teen Titans go. They just made him a fuck boy, and I hate his song. <laughs> Yo, his songs be slapping. They made him a fuck boy that can sing. <laughs> also, shout also shout out to Greg Sipes. Shout out because I still, but interviewing him at that random con was still a very cool moment for me. So, kid, I mean, Missy, what do you think about this? Mm-mm. Nah, you ain't... nope. I don't really think that I have. I thought they already did that. You said it was a show or something. Yeah, it's a show. Mm-mm. First season, I, really, I lost track after they made go. I was done. I like Teen Titans Go. It's stupid. <laughs> no, it's like stupid. it's a stupid. Well, I like it. You never know. I might actually like it, like it like because I did. I didn't care too much for Go. I like the initial little Teen Titans. It was like stories going on. Then it just became I bubble will pop. Admit, I won't be I catching like, oh, as a goddamn bop. Yeah, I didn't like the bubble pop phase. 
We'll see. But I <laughs> well, 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 check out Titans. I mean, the first season is a bad watch, but after that, it's solid. Let's go to the next one. Okay. Um, Oda is is taking a three week hiatus. Um, of co- of course, he Akira Toriyama was a mentor to him, and he was very uh very influential in his his life as an artist and his probably life in general. So he's taking a he's taking a break from the manga for three weeks, and so far, luckily, the 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 One Piece fans understand. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, 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 so luckily there, there hasn't been any any weird pushback. Everyone's just like, but, "Yeah, I guess I would take a break too." <laughs> let him take himself time to rejuvenate himself, and he'll come back. Be patient. I bet. You, I bet you he's gonna make a character uh, based oh off God. of Toriyama. A tribute episode, possibly, most likely. Definitely. Definitely don't be like the JJK community. These oh. just lose their mind every time they have to wait for a fucking. Yo, they are so weird. It's it's called lobotomy kaizen for a reason. Ugh. They they have to wait so long in between shit. They just start <laughs> losing their fucking minds. JJ, JJK fans do better. It's Let's go to the next one. Go go show. Damn, do better. So Warner oh. Brothers, they're they're already planning to expand their anime repertoire uh, with Suicide Squad. Isekai is supposed to be coming out not too soon, but they're already getting ready to expand more to do more anime adaptations of their stuff. This sounds cool to me. I'm just fucking fed up with Warner Brothers as of right now. They. Like, they want to expand anime, but they refuse to put out completed movies that people that that people who had a chance to take a look at them said they were actually excellent films. Y'all, what do y'all think? Well, Demon, if you, if you would, if, if they, what DC character would you like to see in, in an anime? Would you want one about Jason Blood and Intrigan? That's actually not a bad idea. It could be like a, it could be like a magical version of Incredible Hulk. I would like that anime with them, giving them more off of a doctor uh, doing right. the right thing. I'd fucking like that. Give us some, give us the characters that we don't fucking see often. I'm so tired of seeing the big three in the the big three in their adjacents. <laughs> No more Flash content. Y'all didn't fuck that up. <laughs> Put Flash movies, unless they animated, on the back burner. <laughs> How about you, Missy? I, Any DC I, characters? No, I don't really follow the Suicide Squad productions at all. To be honest, I, I saw the first one. It kind of killed it for me. And I was trying to wrap my brain around getting into the second live action. And I'm like, you know, I'm going to take it slow. I'm gonna take it slow. I we could do a watch party. Luck. I'll watch it with you. I wish them the best of luck with that, though. I really do. <laughs> For the second one, we could do a watch party. I'll watch it with you. Trust me, it's worth it. All right. Oh, uh, and disrespectful news today. Ronda Rousey was asked about returning to the WWE. She says it's an absolute shit show. Mm-hmm. I mean, we heard about that being an absolute shit show well before she said anything. Right. I just think it's weird because it's like, you know who really, you know who was an absolute shit show in the ring? Ronda Rousey. It's just like, it's it, like it's it's kind of weird. It's like, listen, I understand you were a great UFC fighter, but then you got too many concussions, so they won't let you back. Cool. You shoehorn yourself into the WWE and you try to make every fight an MMA fight because you literally don't know how to wrestle. They take you, they, they take you to the performance center. You learn a few moves, but you can't stick with it and you can't execute it properly. But because of your name, 
they kept shooting you up the fucking ladder to a championship match the next year at WrestleMania. I mean, then, it's all not real competition anyway. It's all scripted. So it's, it's true. Not, it's not real competition. It's not but, really like it has to be actually any type of good at fighting, in which we already know she is. So it's like, honestly, but the problem I, is she's I bad at performing. I think it just had a lot more to do with other things. Um, the whole shit show comment rather than all of the entertainment and theatrics of it all. I'm pretty sure it had a lot to do with the casting couch culture and the traffic. Oh, yeah. All allegations and her book coming up uh, with the tell all about it. And then her quotations in which she ended her last interview about it. In the WWE, it's all fake. I love them except for Bruce and John. They can go fuck themselves. That would be Bruce Pritchard. He's a uh... He works in WWE uh, creative, and she should. She probably is talking about John Laurinaitis, one of the several who have currently been indicted over the WWE actions. Mm-hmm. So Either I way, though, I still, I still didn't like her as a, as a performer in the ring. I didn't watch it. <laughs> I was just like, there was. There was nothing fun about watching about watch, watching Ronda Rousey as a wrestler. I like, don't get me, me no. don't get me wrong. Her her music was a real cool a real cool punk rock joint, but she had no showmanship with it. She would just walk out all up with a mean face on, and I'm just like, eh, okay. And it's like and you're and her 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 wrestling clothing was just dressing like Rowdy Roddy Piper. Without the kilt, for some reason, like yeah, there was casting couch culture. She probably had like not much control over that, any of that, considering it's all scripted and you know costumed beforehand. Yeah, but that her that's the thing. It wasn't a costume. It was just clothes she had. Mm. Like like she like like she, listen, her 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 rig of performance was just horrible. Like <laughs> her as a fighter is cool, but. Trying to teach her how to do how to do this shit is completely different. Yeah, it's all about I, entertainment. Yeah. I didn't see any WWE content or anything lately. Yeah, I stopped watching it because it's it was it's all scripted. But at the same time, I do respect it because you like the shit you're going through. Yeah, you're, you're not getting hit. You're still feeling the entire weight of motherfuckers getting thrown against you. Yeah, and I watch scripted stuff all the time. Mm-hmm. I fucking love stuff like that. Right. That's just like not. My particular interest, and um, I think that I found her other stuff more interesting and more entertaining to watch when she was doing UFC and all of that. So, oh yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, let's go to the next one. Mm-hmm. All right, this. All right, so Goldberg was being asked some questions, and um, he one of his he had an issue with. No. Oscar, and this is this is how his quote goes: "A girl ended my winning streak and undefeated streak. I can't even recall her name is Asuka, some Japanese girl. They praise yeah. her for having the longest winning streak. The fact that I didn't get along with Paul Triple H, which is Vince's son-in-law, I think had everything to do with it. All right, okay." Salty truth time. Goldberg, you're literally the definition of all sizzle, no steak. Your presentation is what got you in the door, but inside the ring, you literally cannot take direction or do anything outside of a two-minute squash match. Mm. You're the reason Bret Hart had to retire early because you actually don't know how to wrestle. And you ended up giving that man a career-ending concussion. You also almost broke the Undertaker's neck at in Saudi Arabia. Why? Because you've never practiced long enough to learn how to execute everything in the ring. Now, Asuka is all sizzle and all Wagyu beef steak. <laughs> Not only does she have the package, she's also the better performer. And she's a consistent wrestler. Who, that, who can actually wrestle a solid 45-minute match where your whole career, you can't go past seven minutes. 
so Dang. and also you spent a lot of time Dang. wrestling in Japan and have the audacity to be ignorant with pronouncing her name. And the, what pisses me off about it is you're from Pittsburgh. So, <laughs> so we, we share the same state. So it's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? It's from he's in from the inferior it. half of the state. Huh? He's from the inferior half of the state. What did you like the oh, like the only reason he even has a career is because they looked at him and they were like, hey, he's like Stone Cold Steve Austin, but bigger. What? That's <laughs> literally why they hired him. Stone Cold Steve Austin was one of the top guys, uh, top guys getting in all that ranking, all the uh, all that Monday Night War money. They hired Goldberg because he looks like him, but bigger. Hmm. I just, ugh. I just, I just hate some of these older wrestlers just be showing their absolute ass for no reason. Like I'm like, like Demon. I, I know, I probably, I know you don't know or care, but I just, it's the ignorance of it all. Oh yeah, yep. This looked cool this week. Um, <laughs> a Marvel, a Marvel 1943 game has been announced. Uh, Captain America and Black Panther. The uh, it's about the rise of Hydra. I'm not sure if you guys saw the trailer for it, but I did. I I'm definitely going to look it up. If it's about World War II, I love it's World War II. My man still out here trippy. Don't care. He came to Flash on this occasion. Mm. Uh, they didn't show any actual gameplay, but from from the cutscenes, it looks like you definitely switch between Captain America and Black Panther. Mm. <clears throat> Uh, this looks like it could be a really good game. I Marvel Marvel video game wise, they do need a win, so might as well go with what works. And from the cutscenes, I'm not gonna lie, this is this is a uh, pretty solid, pretty solid indeed. I just wish they did try and make it seem like Captain America could beat up the Black Panther. It was just like, yeah, we, we know they're about to fight. Y'all gonna feed the black, but. We already know how this ends. <laughs> it was like Captain America wasn't beat no what beat no Black Panther. <laughs> uh, no, that's not happening. Huh? I said no, that's not happening. Mm. Oh, so Mr. Beast, Jimmy. He has a reality show coming out on Amazon Prime. And it, the cash prize is going to be five million dollars. That is the most you could ever win in a re, in a game show in the world. Nice. Boy, the stipulations. I don't know. I don't know anything about the competition, but mm. I definitely am gonna apply. I mean, <laughs> listen. And here's the other cool thing: he has complete creative control over the show. And I think that's really imperative because after watching and seeing I what happened, to apply, but at the same time, <coughs> I can't get meat cannons in other people's shit of him <laughs> out of my head. I ain't worried about that shit. Meat cannon, go ahead. I'm just saying that. Listen, I'm gonna try out because if you ever watch the ones he be having on YouTube. Listen, sometimes in the middle of it, he'd be like, listen, this thing's for like a million dollars, but I'll give you $50,000 to leave right now. Mm. <laughs> I'm <was> like, <laughs> right. <laughs> so, listen, I, I'm uh, listen, I'm going to at least apply. I'm going to at least apply because shit, that's why I'm Five million dollars. Shoot, have you seen any of his crazy challenges on online, Missy? Mm -mm. No, I have not. I strongly suggest you check out his channel. And when he's not doing these crazy games, he's also doing really great philanthropy work. <laughs> Put a hundred, a hundred wells of water in Africa. It's a good dude. I didn't even. That's not even a sentence. But okay. Well, I, I didn't. <laughs> a hundred whales of water in Africa. No wells, wells. He made oh, okay. he made a hundred uh, wells of water. Oh, okay. Water wells. Yeah. Got it. 
guess it did just sound like I said whale. Okay. That's right. <laughs> oh, th- yo, this came in hot. B stars the final season on Netflix. It looks like they're gonna looks like they're gonna do that divide shit. The first half it is gonna be this year, and I guess the second half is gonna be next year. Mm. Are you a B stars fan? Either. No. Of course. I yeah, I, I like B stars. <laughs> I'm just I'm just tired of the this this will they won't they shit. <laughs> Is <laughs> it's Zootopia <laughs> with Zootopia with fucking an yeah. existential crisis? Wait, then sometimes I wish I can pop pop in the screen and just start popping the back of people's head. What the fuck are you doing? I am absolutely upset that I just googled this. What? B stars. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yo! If you have if you if you haven't seen this, Missy, watch it. Okay. It's it's for it, it's 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 a good story. It, it's a good. It's it's it is it's it is it is. The manga is a lot wilder, but. Oh, okay. That's what I'm looking. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, oh right. raggedy. Oh, raggedy. Oh. <laughs> I'm excited for this. Backup candy. There we go. And Nico, Nick, Queen Nick has left the building. And that. I'm sorry. And that was. I think that, that was it, wasn't it, Mark? Yep, yep. Damn. I know I need to catch up on my X Men and my and my Invincible. Did you uh I have? Been, are, I need to catch up as well because if you, I I need it. All right, I need to know if there's another comfort scene. Do you think I'll have another comfort scene in there? In the second scene. <laughs> uh, Missy, do you watch Invincible? No, I do not. Ooh. Nope. I've been obsessing about other shows lately. <laughs> what shows have you been obsessing about? Um, the ones who live. It's like a Walking Dead show where Rick okay. is back. He finally found out about his son. You know, it's good stuff. Okay, okay. Well, folks, this is we are at the end of the line today. This has been the Geek Report. We hope you guys were entertained and informed. Uh, of course, I want to thank Demissy for coming by. Make sure you guys make sure you guys check her out. Of course, it's always great to have my man, 50 Grand, Demon Engine. Uh, We had the brief but sweet Queen Eek here. Uh, We're going to have to catch her next time. And, of course, I'm (laughs) I'm Salty Truth. This has been a Mary B Media's Geek Report. We hope you guys enjoyed what you watched today. Make sure you let us know what you thought about in the comments section. And we will see you next time. Be well. Take care of each other. Peace. Out.